hello human watching this video right now welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to moi's mia's channel so today i'm gonna just be coding and chilling with y'all i'm gonna make this a flip and floppin series because i'm such a youtuber i'm making this a series called code and chill and when i say chill i mean chill we got the pajamas on we got the toes out that's about it this is what makes it chill today i'm gonna be doing some technical interview problems on leak code attempting to solve them looking at these problems for the first time i'm just literally choosing a random one and we're gonna go from there but i'm doing lead code problems today because i feel like a lot of people are prepping for interviews now and it's always cool to see how someone else would do a certain problem disclaimer one i am not a genius i solve a problem one way that's not the only way to do it if you feel like i was able to solve a problem that you thought was really hard or you're discouraged because you don't have any confidence maybe in your skills just know that watching this video is a first step in learning something new the fact that you're even sitting here watching this trying to learn is something to celebrate so don't forget to like and subscribe period poo show me some love in the comments down below let me know if there's anything that y'all want to see from me or anything that you guys need from me and with that being said let's just code and chill okay code and chill that's how i spent my friday nights am i right ladies Let's find a lead code problem to do. All right. I am currently on leadcode.com. Let me move over so that I could have my code right here. She's gonna have her own little moment. So let's just, okay, and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on cause ooh, baby girl girl's blind. If y'all can see the ring light in my glasses, I apologize, but. And if you can hear my dad watching a Spike Lee movie in the background, I also apologize. All right, running sum of 1D array. Given an array nums, we're defining running sum of an array as running sum sub i equals sum of num sub o to num sub i. Returning the sum of nums. So, uh, oh, what the fuck? Nums, one, two, three, four. I'll put one, three, six, ten. Oh, so it's, oh, I see. Running sum is obtained as follows. One, one plus two, one plus two plus three, one plus two plus three plus four. Okay, that's cool and sexy and fresh. Um, so it nums three, four, six. Okay, um, so I have an idea of how to do this problem. Will it be the most time efficient? Who the knows? But let's just get started. So. Obviously, in a problem like this, you're probably gonna wanna have a for loop. So let's just do this for, that's all we're putting right now, just four. We know we're gonna wanna have a for loop, but since we are returning a list, I'm going to want an accumulator list. So we'll actually call this a queue. I'm just practicing like having variable names that give some context to the problem just because that's something that's important. So we have an accumulator list. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to append whatever, whatever, whatever to the list. On top of having a accumulator list, we are going to want to have a number that is also going to be an accumulator since we are keeping track of a certain sum. So we'll call this accum int. For now it's zero because we're just starting out and so now for x in nums. So nums is the list. <clears throat> so here's what we're gonna do. Accum int equals, oh no, accum int plus equals x. And now what this is doing is, this is adding the next, number in the array and I am commenting in the wrong language okay so adding x every time is adding the next number in the list to that accumulator integer that we have so now 
what we want to do is we want to add that number to the new list that we're going to be returning. So this would be accum underscore list dot append. And now we're appending the accum integer. So that's what's going to add the new number every single twine, baby girl. And then once we have gotten through the entire list, that means that we should have this new list, which has the sum of every single number up to that point. So we're just going to put return accum list. Okay. So let's see. I'm scared. Did I do this in the right language? Oh, baby girl. Oh, okay. I passed. But my memory usage is apparently trash. But my runtime is really good. Yay! Okay, so I don't, okay. I don't know a lot about memory. Oh, wait, my memory's good. Never mind. OMG. So uh, she's feeling herself. That was Elite Code Easy. We have hashtag success, hashtag blessed. So that was one problem. Let's do another Elite Code Easy problem. And I'm not saying they're easy. They have, as y'all can see here, rankings of what a problem is. So easy. Oh, well, these are a whole bunch of easies. But yes, I'm not calling them easy. I don't believe in the word easy. We're not even going to get into that. But in terms of how Leet Code would group this, this is quote unquote an easy problem. So next problem. Now we're on to the next problem. I literally, again, I'm not, I have no order of how I'm choosing this. So the next problem is shuffle the array. So given an array of numbers consisting of two n elements, return the array in form x1, y1, x2, y2, xn, yn. What the fuck? So n is three, one, three, bitch, x1, x2, x3, Oh, I see. Damn. So it splits. Pretty much what's happening in this problem is... But how would it work if, like... Okay, no, I'm going to look at another example first. Um, So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four again. So it would go one, four, two... I'm just, oh, so it's always, oh, so it always splits the list in half. Okay, cool beans. Um, so this is the problem. I'll let y'all take a look at it if you want. I feel like I'm about to do this really wrong, but let's see. Well, this is what I'm thinking. So again, since this is a problem where we're returning a list, we're gonna wanna have some sort of accumulator. So that's gonna start off as the empty list. So they give us this end. So we'll do four X in range. Do y'all hear that music? Oh my gosh, I can't. It's just so loud living here. So for X in range N. So the reason that I'm going to do for X in range N instead of for X in range nums is because the way that I plan on solving this problem is by appending both of those, appending two numbers at the same time, as opposed to only doing one append, which would then result in me having to go through the entire list. So for X in range N, that's what we're starting with here for x in range n. First thing we're gonna wanna do is add the nth thing to the list. So, the zero thing. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Whatever. So we're gonna, okay, so we wanna add the nth thing to the list first, and this is because the list is divided up into the first n elements, which are the x elements, and then into the second n elements, which are the y elements. So. As y'all can see in the example right here in the end, we have this x, y, x, y, x, y. So we're going to want to append the x thing first. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do accum 
oh, oops, this is supposed to be x, not n. So a cumulus dot append, and now it's going to be num sub x plus n. So let me explain this before I go any further. So pretty much what this means. So let's look at this example right here. So for x in range 3, the first number is going to be 0. So the first thing we're going to append is the 0 thing in the numbers list. So this gets added. So now the next thing that we're going to want is the first number in the y list or the second half of this array. Excuse me. So what that means is that if we want y1, this little thing right here, a fast way to find that is just by adding n to the current position that we're at. So if we're at 0 here, the way we would get this y1 thing is by adding 3. So if you look, 1, 2, 3. Now we're here, and now we're appending this, and that's how we get the 3 there. Yay, now the for loop is done. Or no, not the for loop is done. The first iteration of the for loop is done, which means n is 1 now. So first, we're going to append numbers sub 1, which is 5, and we see here that 5 gets added next. And then what we're adding after that is numbers sub 1 plus 3, which is... 1, 2, 3, this 4. That's how we get this 4 here. So that was my logic behind the for loop. And now we just return. What is this thing called? We're just returning the accumulator list. So let's submit this hoe. And hopefully I did it right. Let's hope I did it right. Okay, yay, my runtime is not the cutest, but my memory usage, I don't, y'all. Yeah. Dang, I wonder why my runtime is so poopity scoop. Well, you know what? This is, this is the way I did it. If you have a different way you thought you would have done it, leave it in the comments below. I'm not gonna sit here and try and think of 10 different solutions for this. My shit passes and that's that on that. So let's move on to the next problem. This will probably be the last problem that I do today because... <laughs> so the next problem is kids with the greatest number of candy. Given the array candies and the integer extra candies, where candy sub i represents the number of candies that the ith kid has, for each kid check if there is a way to distribute extra candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of candies among them. Bitch, what? I hate these explanations. These explanations be making no sense. No sense. No sense at all. So, candy sub two, three, five, one, three. Oh, so kid one has two candies, and if he or she receives all extra candies. Five candies greater than the same number of kids. And if he or she receives at least two extra candies, the greatest number of candies among the kids. Kid four has one candy. Oh, I see. I see what they did there. I hose. Let me just get started. Again, not going for the most efficient code. This is just like first thought. This is what we have here. So for anyone who may have trouble understanding this problem because it's really honestly confusing, what happens here is each element in the array represents the number of candy that a kid has. So given if I have three extra candies, if I were to give three pieces of candy to each kid, would they in their list have the greatest number of candies. So what this means is, in my first round, if I give the first kid the three pieces of candy, will they have the greatest number of candy? Yes, because they have five, which is the largest. So that's how this whole works. This problem's honestly really confusing. Um, if y'all have any questions on it, just let me know in the comments, cause the problem's confusing in terms of how it's explained and I probably just did a really terrible job explaining it. The thing that I would want to do is to find the kid who has the 
most candy. So that would be, we'll call it max candy equals max of the candies list. I don't think that this is super efficient because this is going to require iterating through the entire list, but this is what we're doing right now. So the max candy is the maximum of the candies list. So again, we're returning a list. So we are going to want an accumulator that's eventually going to be returned. Can I get a hooya? Okay, so now for X in candies. So now I'm iterating through the entire candies list. If Oh my god, I could be really fancy and do this all in one line, but I'm not going to do that. So, if x plus extra candies is greater than max candy, greater than or equal to max candy, because it can be equal to it. If x plus extra candies is greater than or equal to the maximum candy, we are going to accumulate... I mean, we are going to append true to the accumulator list that we have. And then in the case that it's not more than the maximum, we're just going to append false to this list. So pretty sure this is it in terms of what the problem actually is. I hope so. Um, I think this is everything. I guess we'll just run it and see but oh wait and does it return it okay it returns it like that okay let's just submit this hoe and see what happens oh, okay so it has to be oopies booleans are capitalized in python but um this is not very efficient. So my camera cut out because she's poop. She does that a lot. But yes, this was me doing some leak code problems with y'all. I might actually make this like a weekly thing that I do. If y'all like it, you know, if anyone can find this helpful, I'll keep doing it. Like if this is something that y'all want to see from me, just let me know in the comments down below. That was me doing some leak code easy problems. I'm taking y'all on this journey with me. So as I continue to do this, Hopefully she'll be leveling up and she'll get to leak code medium. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared for that. I'm scared. But yes, this was me doing some leak code easy problems with y'all. I hope y'all found this helpful. If you guys have any questions, once again, let me know. I am here for you guys. Remember that we are all on our own process of learning. And if you found these problems to be difficult, do not get discouraged because you have just taken the first step to learn something new. Okay, okay. Celebrate that. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, give me some comments, ask me some questions, whatever you want. Enjoy the rest of your night, day, morning, evening, week, month, whatever. I'll see y'all in my next video. <laughs>